What's up guys, back with another video, and today it's gonna be a pickups video, which I'm just gonna show you a lot of things that I've picked up over the last week and a half or so. Um, I got a lot of cool stuff here, so I'm gonna get straight into it. The first thing I'm gonna show you is uh, like the movies and stuff that I've picked up. The first two are from my local uh, thrift store, and I found these two really cool pickups. The first one here is the Diary of Ellen Rimbauer, and this is a kind of like a haunted, haunted house movie. She lives in a big mansion, and there's a ghost haunting it. And um, it just looks, it looks pretty cheesy. It's from the early 2000s. Uh, I think it says it on here. No, it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure it's like 2000, 2001. Really cheesy. But I had to pick this one up. Um, this is actually out of print right now. So it, it, on eBay and stuff, it runs about you know, $25, $30, maybe even more than that. But I had to pick that one up. I was kind of excited when I saw that. So I uh, picked that one up. And then the next one. Um, is really cool. It has Candace Cameron from uh, Full House, and this is Visitors of the Night. This one looks pretty cool. Obviously, it's like an alien movie. You can see her levitated there, and uh, you can see I'm not sure who that actress is, but she's grabbing that alien hand right there. It looks pretty cool. Really uh, intrigued when I saw this, so I had to pick that one up. Really cool. Visitors of the Night. The next one here, I absolutely love this movie. This was The Shape of Water here on Blu-ray. Um, honestly, when it first came out, I had not even seen the trailer for it or anything. Um, the only reason I actually heard about this is I heard um, a lady at my job talking about it, that she went to go see it and stuff. So when it came out on Blu-ray, and then you know, th obviously when it came out on Blu-ray, it already had gotten you know the Academy Awards and all that. Um, it was nominated for 13 Academy Awards and stuff. So I picked it up because I really wanted to watch it, and after watching it, this is a movie that I absolutely love. This is a great uh, love story, very different. It's by Guillermo del Toro, and um, yeah, I mean, it's a lady who falls in love with this sea creature that everybody's trying to kill, and then a bunch of stuff happens, but it's really cool. But what I want to say is that Michael Shannon is an amazing actor. I love him at, in everything he's done. You know, when he, in Cop Car, he was awesome. In Bug, he was really good. He was in Eight Mile. Michael Shannon is amazing. I don't think he gets the credit he deserves, but he was so good in this movie. Really, really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen The Shape of Water, do yourself a favor and watch this movie, please. And then the last one that I picked up is actually a steel book, and this is DC's Justice League. I picked up the Best Buy exclusive steel book. Um, really cool. I actually enjoyed this movie. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty fun, straightforward, but I, I really enjoyed it. The, the one thing that was really, really bad though, was um, Henry Cavill when they like digitally removed the mustache he had because he was doing another movie at the time. That looked so bad. It made his face look so ugly. But other, other than that, you know, I really I thought it was a pretty fun movie. I enjoyed it for what it was. And the only thing I don't like about the Steel Book is that you see this cover looks really really cool. This is by uh, Jim Lee, hand drawn or whatever. And in the back, it's just the same thing but black and white. I, I kind of wish it would have just went with something else on the back. But I mean, it's still a really cool Steel Book and uh, happy to add this one to the collection. So those are all the movies I picked up. Um, so now we're gonna get into the uh, other stuff here. Obviously I went to the National Video Game Museum. While I was there, I picked up this uh, t-shirt. As you can see here, the National Video Game Museum t-shirt. Um, they only had three designs, and honestly all three designs are pretty weak. This is the only one that I just kind of like, but I just picked it up just to have, you know, kind of like a souvenir from there. Cause I don't know if I ever go back out there, but, um, so yeah, obviously it's like Yoshi in skeleton form, and it's kind of like Jurassic Park, whatever. You know, for being a National Video Game Museum, you'd think they'd have somebody who can create better t-shirts. They have that one, a black one that just said National Video Game Museum right here in the corner, and then a, a green one that kind of had just like the yellow print of, like, Zelda print, but it had Yoshi on there a, with the skeleton as well. It just, it just didn't look... It could have been way better. They should have had way better designs. They have so many video games they could like grab from, you know, to get ideas. But it just like almost seemed like they were, they were just bad. I mean, that's the only one I thought was, was just okay. Um, but anyways, moving on. Um, I went to uh, Walmart, and there's a lot of Walmart exclusive pops that are coming out um, recently. And this was one I really wanted to get. And this is the Walmart exclusive uh, Cuphead. It looks really really cool kind of has like that little splash going there 
that's what's different from the normal one. He looks really cool. I like the pose too. So really, really cool looking. So that's Cuphead. Um, all I need is the I always forget her name. Legendary Chalice, the Mugman. I need that one, Mugman, and the Devil. So the only three left I need. Look really, really cool. I had to pick that one up. Um, then oh. I totally forgot. When I went to the National Video Game Museum, they actually had like a section of uh, video game related pops. So I had to pick this one up. This is from the Twisted Metal series. Um, uh, this is a, a Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth, the uh, pop. It looks really, really cool. Check him out. He looks awesome. Always, I wanted to add this to my collection for a long time. I played so much Twisted Metal growing up as a kid, especially Twisted Metal 2. Um, and it has a little National Video Game Museum sticker there, which I was just gonna leave there just because I thought it looked cool. But he looks really, really cool in there. He has a little, you know, sword and stuff. Uh, check out the back. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. I like that. But, um, had to pick this one up. Twisted Metal. I loved the game growing up as a kid, so. Had to pick that one up from there. And then when I made that video for, uh, Toys R Us, there was two things that I picked up while I was there. And the first one is, uh, Ernesto here. I didn't have this one yet, and I wanted to add him to the, you know, the Coco collection. Uh, Ernesto. I just need Hector. He's right there. I still need to get him, but he looks really, really cool. He looks awesome. So I had to pick that one up. And I also picked up a poster. So I picked up this Coco uh, poster, which I thought was really, really cool. And yeah, so I, that poster looks really, really cool. Happy to have that up there on the wall. Um, let's see what else. There's three more things I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to save those two pops for last, but this is what I picked up today. Um, I'm going on a trip uh, in two weeks, and definitely this is definitely going to come in handy. This is Kirby Star Allies for the Nintendo Switch. I haven't even opened it yet because I got it just now at Target, but I picked this up because it's like an eight-hour drive. Me and my buddies are going somewhere. I don't want to spoil it just yet, but definitely going to come in handy. Probably gonna play a bunch of this on the way there, so that's gonna be cool. Kirby Star Allies, really excited to have gotten this one. And uh, another game for the Nintendo Switch collection, which is pretty cool, so excited for that one. But finally, the last two things I'm gonna show you, and I'm so happy to finally add these to my collection. <sighs> you know I've been playing this game a lot. I've talked about it in numerous, numerous uh, times in my videos, but I had to pick up the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt Pop. Look at look at him, man. He looks awesome. He has a sword. He looks so, so cool. Check him out. Man, I'm so happy to add him to my collection. There's uh, another, other ones in the line. Let me show you the other one that I got. This is uh, Aridin. He looks really, really cool, too. Uh, this is like the, you know, the main villain. He looks awesome red you know with the bone the skeleton uh like the his ribs and stuff popping out looks really really cool really really cool absolutely love this game super happy to add these to my collection i cannot tell you how great this game is i, I cannot praise this game enough if you haven't played it you are doing yourself an injustice please play this game if you're into rpgs this is one you cannot miss it is very difficult um, but once you get going, you know, it just, it's just super fun, so much to do, so much to look at, and I just absolutely love this game. Honestly, one of the best games I've ever played. Go check out Witcher 3. Don't wait as long as I have to play it. Um, absolutely love this game and so happy to add these two pops to my collection. Um, I'll probably end up getting that Siri eventually, um, but for now, I'm, I'm super excited just to get these main ones that I really wanted. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. Remember that my contest is still going on to the end of this week. If you want to win this for free, you have to live in the U.S. Check out my previous video when I went to the National Video Game Museum. All the details are there. But you could win this for free if you live in the U.S. So, again, um, I want to thank you all for coming by for this video. Please check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, that's going to do it. And I will see you all next time.